Hey everybody, wanted to do a video on my top 10 uh, heavy guns or light machine guns. Um, I just want to say that I did this list according to convenience, not damage per second. Uh, damage per second is probably the Goss minigun, the Gatling plasma, and the flamer are the top three if I had to guess. Pretty sure they are. Um, just saying, this is out of convenience and it's just a personal list. But take it however you want it. So at number 10 for LMGs, I got the Ultrasight. Uh, Gatling laser which isn't too bad um, the ammo for it isn't really hard to get even if you want to make it ultra sight um, you can make tons of ammo for this you could even slow the fire rate and uh, make it last longer um, it would be decent for taking out like regular enemies like super mutants and scorched but I wouldn't really you know say it's too good I would I would rate it, you know, not the worst one, I, I don't know, maybe the harpoon gun is, I didn't even put it on this list, but um, it's fun to use, ammo's easy, but I wouldn't say it's very powerful as you can see here, it took me more than a bit to take out a Meyer Alert Queen. Yeah, just, just a little slow, I think. Um, you know, and if I wanted to say too that all these guns I used with no legendary effects as well, just so I could get an accurate reading here. Um, yeah. So number nine, I would put the LMG. Um, it is pretty powerful if you get the right effects on it, but the ammo for it is very expensive, I think. It's, you know, not easy to find 308s. You can't really craft as much ammo for it as easily as you can other ammo, and it does shoot the ammo very fast. But um, an LMG can be very, very powerful. Um, I put it on number nine because it's out of convenience. You know, it's not the most powerful and the ammo is really expensive. It's not hard to find one of these, that's for sure. Um, but I wouldn't be running around like consistently with an LMG. You're gonna use a lot of materials, especially if you're using ultrasight ammo. Okay, so number eight, we have the Pepper Shaker. Um, I think this gun is a little underrated, you know, especially if you have the right effects on it. Um, it can be a little costly with the ammo. Um, I got the fusion cell um, attachment on it, so it uses fusion cells, obviously. Um, yeah, and you can put other perk cards on, I think, to up the damage. I only have Heavy Gunner, Expert Heavy Gunner, and Master Heavy Gunner on. I think you can also put on Shotgunners as well to help with the damage with this thing, but I just wanted to, you know, compare these as if you have a regular Heavy Gunner build. You wouldn't, if you just have a regular Heavy Gunner build and you're using other Heavy Guns, then you wouldn't have a Shotgunner on, you know, under uh, strength, that's for sure. But definitely number eight, it's a solid gun. Just overall fun, but can be a little bit expensive to make ammo and it's not the most powerful at number seven we have the minigun and i just want to say too that uh, if you don't know the shredder on this thing is just absolutely amazing like you can put on a bashing a basher card i think it's called if, if i'm not mistaken i think it's under strength and you can put the shredder on the end of this thing and you can see like the health you can see it jump down a little bit so this thing can be very powerful especially with the shredder i think the shredder is actually more powerful than shooting with bullets you can actually take uh like just drop all your five millimeters and just go around you know slicing people up with this gun as i'm about to show right here real quick um it is very powerful and I just wanted to point out too, it's very good for the uh, the daily ops. The only thing is, is it will chew up your 5mm very fast. But 5mm, or sorry, 5mm <laughs> aren't very hard to come across. They're actually very easy to come across and they're not really bad for making. And the gun is got a decent DPS on it for sure. So number 7 is the minigun. Remember, this is out of convenience. You could definitely put the minigun higher on this list. Um, the Plasma Caster. Now, I did use a Mutants here because I couldn't just get a regular one. You have to roll a Legendary. I think. I don't think there's a regular way to get a Plasma Caster. But anyway, this was a Mutants one. I do have Mutations. Um, if you get a two-shot of one of these, oh my god, is it powerful. Like, you'll pick out a Queen out of... Or, sorry, not a Queen, but a Scorch Beast out of the air, like, fairly quickly. And you'll even see the health starts a rubber band, which shows you it can be very powerful. Um, just running around with this gun is a lot of fun as well. It's very powerful, and the ammo is not expensive in my opinion. It's very easy to make a lot of it. At number five, we have the 50 cal. Um, 
definitely a great gun to just walk around with if you're an LMG build. Um, if, if you've been an LMG build, I'm sure you can let me know in the comments, you know, that you use this gun a lot. Um, it's absolutely great for taking out everything but tanky enemies. Um, the DPS isn't as good as the next four guns I'm going to show you, but um, it is an extremely all-around good gun. Like, you can see a Mirelert King is kind of tanky, but, like, they're one of the more tankier not so like large enemies and it still does pretty good you know work here imagine if this was you know a, a two shot or an anti-armor it would have chewed through them way quicker and uh it's not bad for taking out big enemies you know like if this was an anti-armor faster fire rate that queen would have died a lot faster or even a two shot explosive it would have died a lot faster but then we're getting into the demolition perk cards and i kind of wanted to stay away from that for this video but the 50 cal is a solid number five on my list i use this gun all the time ammo is not expensive in my opinion overall great gun uh number four is the flamer now, the cons to this thing is that it, or this gun, is that it breaks fairly easy and the ammo can be somewhat a pain in the butt to get, but you can use the ammo converter to get tons of flamer fuel and damage per second. This gun is in the top three, in my opinion, maybe top two. Um, yeah, it's, it's very powerful, especially if you have the right effects on it. Um, that's the only downside is that it breaks pretty quick in my opinion, but other than that, the flamethrower is underrated. Hard number four. Great gun, I use it all the time. At number three, we have the Goss minigun. Now this gun might possibly be, I think it is, according if you see Turtle's DPS list, which I did consult before this video, and I would also have to agree with Turtle that for damage per second, the Goss minigun is probably the most powerful gun for uh, heavy builds, except the fact that the ammo is extremely expensive and it chews through them very fast, and the gun is not easily obtainable. You have to do a quest upon quests to get it. Um, you have to, yeah, or that or you have to get lucky and get the plan from Minerva, which is probably the best way to go. Now, number two is my personal favorite. I would put this one number one on the list, but I just didn't want to let my opinion affect this list too much. I just wanted to go on what I did with my testing. But uh, the Gatling gun is definitely a very underrated gun. I don't think people give it as much love as they should. The damage per second isn't very good, I will tell you that. But this gun is just like, you can walk around forever. You'll always have ammo for it. Five millimeters are so easy to come across. They're so easy to craft. And this gun doesn't even shoot fast. Like it's just overall a great gun to have especially if you're trying to save a bit of ammo like this is the next best thing to use in the chainsaw if you're trying to save materials and ammo um you see how quick it just takes out scorch there like this is a non-legendary gatling like it just destroys them then there's also another trick you can do with it if you hold down the fire button and then spam the aim button you're gonna see here that you can fire it about two or three times faster so i'm sure this will get nerfed eventually but this thing is a beast if you do that, and that's what, another reason why I put it at number two. If you consider this little glitch with the uh, aiming button, spamming the aiming button while you're holding the fire, then this gun has a high damage per second for sure. Um, I don't know if it's better than the Goss mini gun, but wow, I love this gun. The Gatling gun is definitely my favorite gun. Let me know in the comments if you love the Gatling gun. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that do. Um, number one on my list, I think, after the Legacy patch, especially this gun, the Gatling Plasma, will be the go-to gun for taking out tanky enemies uh, like the Scorch Beast Queen and Earl. Um, probably auto axes and stuff like that too, but for heavy guns, I feel like the Gatling Plasma, you know, you got three or four people with the right effects on this gun and, you know, some buffs. We can still take out a queen very quick. And the ammo for this gun is very easy to make, even if you make Ultra Sight. Like, you'll have tons of it. And it's just overall the best heavy gun, in my opinion, is the Gatling Plasma. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, what you like for guns. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care.